everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome, welcome. I have to show you the cutest little trifold pockets ever. If you remember, we made some large size trifold pockets. Well, I decided to try a miniature and they are super cute. So it is a trifold piece of paper that creates a couple of pockets here. And then if you decide to put in your journal, you could actually make this a pocket and it slide back in here, anything that you wanted. And these are super, super cute and great for little tags, even a gift. You know, um, I am thinking about making these for my Patreon. I was going to do something different, but I'm having so much fun with these. So I made a couple just to show you. Uh, this is out of one sheet of six by six paper. So I thought, let's just make a couple so you can see how easy it is. And then just with a sheet of six by six paper. So if you had a 12 by 12, you could actually make four times two. You could make eight little mini out of uh, mini trifold pockets out of one sheet of 12 by 12. But we're just going to use a six by six. I am using a double sided sheet. And I think that is really key, but you don't have to. Really and truly, you don't. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super, super fun and so cute. So uh, let's get started. Let's not waste any more time. If you have not subscribed yet, I invite you to subscribe. Click the subscribe, bu subscribe button and the bell next to it will get a notification next time I upload a video. And then also don't forget to like the video. Click that like button if you don't mind. And... Let's jump into making these cutie wooty little trifold buckets. As I said, I'm going to use one piece of six by six. So it will make two of the little trifold pockets and you can decorate them however you want. So let's just pick a cute sheet here. Oh, let's do something with this pink rose pattern here. This is so cute. And see, the paper has not only this pretty uh, print on this side, but it has this one as well. So you do need to score your, um, your page. And I'm going to show you how easy that is. And if you don't have a scoring tool like this, a trimmer that has scoring, you can just measure it out. So this would be a six by six, you can see six by six, and we're going to score at two inches and at four. So you can see each of these will be burnished at a two inch interval. Kind of see it that way. Now, what I chose to do, which you don't have to do it exactly like this, and we can change it up just a little bit if you want to, is I chose to measure um, about an inch in. So here's my inch because I'm going to cut it with that inch there, right here, and then my point right here. So let's get that lined up. And your pockets will be a little bit different size. Okay, so you're going to have one a little bigger and one a little smaller. And then you're just going to flip the way that you fold it. So you could see you could fold it in, but then you lose a pocket or a tuck spot. So then that's just how you fold. That's the small one. And then here's the large one. So we're just going to fold it backwards on itself like that. Just that easy like that. So cute. Now I do want to make my folds really good and crisp. So I'm just going over it with my scoring tool just to do that. And it's super simple. So just like that. Now I did on this one do one that has not been vintageized, like I like to say. No distressing, no ink on this one. And then this one I did. I like the vintage look, but I didn't I knew that some people might not. So you can see here is my two pockets. Now the way that you make them, and I'm just gonna concentrate on this one right now, 
is I take my eighth inch double stick tape. This is red liner tape and it is really strong. So I like using it. So I'm gonna put a strip here. And this is eighth inch. And for these small ones, that's what I would do. I would do an eight. And then I'm gonna put one little strip here at the bottom of this one. And you can kind of see it because it's got that red tape on it, red color to it. So I put one here and here. So that's gonna make that pocket. And then I need one here and at the bottom. So you can choose which side you put it on. It doesn't really matter. And super, super easy and cute. And you can just keep making them and making them and making them. And they'd be cute in any journal. You could make them with any, uh, even a scrapbook page. You could make it to add even to a card to hold maybe your, um, like some dollars or something. All right, so just pull your, you know, your carrier sheet off there. All right, once you have sealed all your edges, you have a pocket here, a pocket here, and if you decide, you can make this a pocket in the back when you adhere it to your page. So super cute. Now, for me, I am going to uh, vintage eyes, which is what I like to say. So I'm just going to take some of this uh, Distress Oxide Vintage Photo and go around the edges to make this a little bit old looking. So we want to make it old. So you can see the difference. So we'll just put that there. So you can see the difference when I put them next to each other. This one really does look older. Okay. Now, one thing that I did was I took some washi. And because this is really tiny, to put lace on it would be a little bit of a challenge. So I'm just going to take some washi. And this is some washi that I've had. Now, if you have little thin lace um, and you want to do that, you could definitely. But this is just going to fit on here really cute. But because I want to make sure it stays, I'm not sure what kind of use it'll get, I want to take my, my tacky glue and put it along that edge. You want to make sure not to put too much, just so you don't seep into that pocket area. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Now I did it on all three, so I'm going to do that. You definitely don't have to. And if it doesn't line up quite right, you can tuck it in. You can move it until your, till your glue sets. And then it's going to be set pretty good. So I'm just going to do this one. I'm going to tuck that in, I think. There we go. And then I did the top as well, just right here. So take a little tacky glue. And again, it's just because I want to make sure that my washi tape sticks well. Because sometimes it, um, because it's repositionable, if it gets older, it might lose its tack a little bit. And then once you have that, and you can go over that as well with your you know, distressed look so that it makes it. Now, the only thing left to do is really and truly just decorate. And you can do whatever you like uh, with your decorations. I just have some flowers here. I have some words. I have uh, some little tiny things. I got this kit from the uh, Timu site and it's a little journal kit and it was $4.98 I think. I mean you can just add different stickers whatever you like however you want to make it look the way that you want it to look um, and so just decorate like put whatever you want in the pocket Let's see, I'm trying to get something that goes with this um, color scheme. And then just add your own little tags, add your own 
you know, whatever you want. Okay, so I decorated this one a little bit, put some stickers, a few little ephemera in there, and it's so cute. So I just encourage you, these are really fun, easy, and if you just have small bits, then it's the perfect, perfect craft for you. Really, really cute and easy to add to your junk journal. So if you have um, a smaller junk journal like this one, you could really easily add one of these um, pockets to your page. Super, super easy because it fits on the page just right. So utilize what you have. Take a little six by six paper, cardstock is what I used, and create you some fun, tiny trifold pockets. So thanks so much for watching. Enjoy uh, working on your crafting, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.